So guys, as I'm recording this, YCS Vancouver is happening. And um, right now, four, three of the top four spots in the top four are taken by Unchained. So the deck is really destroying everything. It's doing a good job. So how do we beat it? And this video is really gonna be a general, how do you beat Unchained? What is the end board they're aiming for? And then also like, what are the best cards that you can side in or put in your deck to deal with this deck? And I'm, I would definitely say that this is a deck that I think is worth learning, even if you don't wanna play it. Understanding the lines and the roots means that you'll know definitely like, what is the exact perfect spot to hit them because their combos are quite non-linear which means that if you interact at the wrong spot and they happen to have the right cards and you didn't read that they will just continue comboing and kill you so what do you have to watch out for and what are the end boards well they've got i'd say two main end boards that they can end on a variety of things but in general there's two kind of combinations of the end board they're going to end on so the first one is going to be and this is probably the most common one that we saw before it's going to be um, DDD, DDD Wave King High Caesar, bit of a tongue twister, an Unchained Soul of Rage, maybe another Unchained on the board as well. Sometimes yes, sometimes no, depending on the hand. Usually a set escape, sometimes they'll have the set reborn as well, but usually at least a set escape and a Yama engrave. So what does this board do? What is annoying about this board? Well, firstly, this card is a double solid strike. That's just annoying. It's gonna be hard to deal with a lot of decks. If you're playing pearly, they're just gonna negate the first two spells you throw out, and that's already like wrecked your hand. This is an IP match screener with your board. Now keep in mind this card does say special summon monsters, so it can only link with face-up special summon monsters your opponent controls, which is gonna be important later. This is usually gonna be Rakia. I've got a Ruha now, but um it's usually gonna be Rakia, which helps them play around evenly, and also it means they can trigger their abominable unchained soul sometimes if it's a hand or something. And then the trap, which pops a card they control and pops a card you control. Now, what makes this board even more oppressive is two things. Underneath Wave King High Caesar is usually going to be Shavara, which means that when, Shav when this uses its effect, Shavara will go to the grave and trigger, and then that is going to set a card. And then the other card underneath it will be Shyama, which means that essentially, if they use both effects of Wave King High Caesar, that usually means they've got solid follow-up for next turn because you've just given them their two card, -card combo. Shyama is going to set one of their traps, Shavara is engraved, which means next turn, without even normal summon triggering, they pop off. So that card is already a big issue. So we need to find a way to out this card without even letting him use his effects. And then also, if you can find a way to pop Rage, that's not also great most of the time, because even if you pop this card, well, do you know what Yama does engrave? Well, it banishes itself, and then it re-summons out Unchained Soul of Rage. So that doesn't even out the board. So this is a really hard board to do what do we do well we need to find non-destructive ways to interact with the board and we need to limit how much wave king high caesar can play now you have to remember as well unchained does not lose to draw which is probably one of the best cards at the moment apart from unchained doesn't lose to draw doesn't really lose to book of moon that's gonna be the first board they're making and then the second board they make which is gonna happen i'll say this is probably the more often board that we're gonna see moving forward as people are kind of understanding what unchained does and how to counter the initial board is gonna be griffin plus a muckracker sometimes plus a rank six if their hand is godlike sometimes plus just another unchained on the board and then also sets so what's good about this board well this board still has the pop but then has nightmare griffin and nightmare griffin is just annoying nightmare griffin means again special summon monsters that aren't linked can't use their effects which basically means that if they have this on the field you just you're basically under skill dream which is really sucky and then what makes this board even better is that even if you can somehow pop the nightmare griffin all they have to do is trigger escape or get rid of it trigger escape and then yama will banish itself and special summon it back out so outing this board is also very very hard so let's go into the cards that i think are best against unchained and how generally you want to be countering we'll start so. off with hand traps i don't think hand traps are amazing against unchained they tend to do these two three card combos and you trade one hand trap and it doesn't make a difference because they can just extend through it but if you are play playing some of these hand traps which you might have in your deck anyway like ash and nib very very good choices bell is not terrible not as good as ash and nib but it's not terrible Shifter's okay. This is more for the cash players, I guess. If it's already in your deck, I wouldn't side it specifically. Shifter does turn off all of the new cards basically because they all need the grave, but they can still do old combos and they can they can still kill you through Shifter as well. So Shifter's okay. I don't think it's amazing. Phantasma and Ghost Mice and Skullmeister are also really, really good, but they're so specific that unless you're already playing these cards, I wouldn't recommend putting them in just for Unchained. Then moving on, we've got board breakers. I think board breakers are really, really strong in Sunshine. Their board is not that strong. They are rarely gonna have Omni in the gate. So if you've got a good board breaker, you can really destroy that board. Love Golem is probably one of the best cards. If you're playing Cash, if you're playing Pearly, this is a card you can very easily side in against them. 
and just out their board. They usually end on two monsters, so this will completely out their board and turn off the trap, which is amazing. Econ is very, very good, as is Talents. Um, at the YCS, some people were playing like this Fiend monster as well, that's okay. The reason why this is so good is you just Econ the Wave King Kai Caesar, go to um, battle phase, attempt to attack. They might chain the trap, they might not. But where, if they don't chain it, you just slap a Zeus on top of it, board outed. If they do chain it, now you've outed the Wave King and you've outed um, the, the trap and you've outed the Link 2. They may bring the Link 2 back with Yama, but then that's just one more card you have to deal with, which is great. Then we've got kind of some other unique cards and these are more for going first. I'll say Silent Graveyard, Abyss Dweller. These are really, really good cards against Unchained. All of their cards happen in the grave. So if you make Abyss Dweller, very good. If you make, if you want to side in Silent Graveyard to play against them, that's also very good. Um, Gravekeeper's Inscription, which is another version of this card. What's pretty nice about this one compared to Silent Graveyard and Abyss Dweller is that this doesn't require you to like get to the extra deck or discard a card. You just activate this straight away. <laughs> you turned off half of the deck which is great so these are all pretty good cards as well deck lockdown is a very good card but not every deck can play it so if your deck can play it play it if your deck can't whatever ultimate slayer is very good but this is kind of this is better than deck lockdown in that most decks can probably play this but you just probably won't because there's like better options and it does take a lot of extra deck space even these not bad even the problem with even these is that they won't lose any resources in terms of they get their turn back with all of their resources, so on the crackback they will put a lot down. But if you're playing something like Manadium, if you're playing something like Infernova that can set up huge amounts of negates, this isn't bad because you'll basically turn off everything but one rage, and then from there it becomes very, very easy to bait that rage and then just full combo. So what's nice about Evenly is especially in game three where they'll have extra back row cards set, they might have an uh, anti spell and things like that, Evenly is great, same with Duster. Gozen is okay, as is Tikaboo, but the thing about Unchained is they play in deck, they play, um, I don't know, they've got a trap, Escape of the Unchained, I think, that can pop back row. The blue card can pop back row. Unchained Soul can pop it back row. So siding in Floodgates is not amazing. If you do side a Floodgate, your, the Floodgates you want are ones like this and Dweller that are lingering and don't stay on the field. That's what you want. Imperm is very, very good against Unchained, but don't use it on their turn. Don't use it on their turn, use it on yours. Let them combo. If they have Tour Guide and you have Veiler, Veiler that, but don't Imperm it. Let them get to your turn, then just Imperm Griffin or Imperm Wave King. Same end result, but you've outed a lot of interaction from that board, which is great. And then also some extra deck monsters set up. We've already talked about Abyss Dweller. Appaloosa is very, very good against them. The thing about Appaloosa is that they have a lot of monsters trigger in the grave, monsters trigger in the hand. And so if you can Appaloosa, you put them in a very awkward position where sometimes it's hard for them to actually put a card on the board. So ending on Appaloosa is not bad. BLS, Avramax, Underworld Goddess. So BLS and Avramax are very good because both of these cards have an ability to essentially ignore most of un Unchained's interactions, BLS especially because it can't be destroyed or targeted, so this is good if your deck can make it. Avramax, very very good, especially if you can make it with YP, again it's difficult for them to out. Most Unchained players are playing Underworld Goddess, but I mean they have to cons um, um, put a lot of resources in just to get that to out it. So guys, these are the cards that are really good against Unchained, I hope this has been helpful for you. It is a very good deck, but it's very counterable, you just need to understand how to play against deck, understand what end board they're going for, but yeah. Let me know if you want any more advice, and if you're a Rescue Ace player, I've got my next video which is going to explain to you exactly how to beat them with Rescue Ace, so yeah. Thank, so, you, yeah, guys. thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you all soon. Peace.